Intelligent. Have a curtains, mate. Yeah, they're real good. So boring. They slide like a dream. <laughs> oh, f***. I'm trying to get that. Cable tied, they cable tied together. Yeah, uh, number eight wire, mate. Fixes everything. What's wrong with the, does the fridge work? It's got no dials. Oh, yeah, no, it's cold. Yeah, it's on. She's on. Morning guys, it's the day of the boat show and I'm pretty excited about going to check out all the new stuff. Uh, we found a few dilemmas last night uh, with the Epson motor in. Again, my two cents in complaining about it. Uh, woke up this morning for coffee cups and there's coffee and tea, but there's no coffee cups. Um, I've just gone to reception, which opens at 8, and uh, went to reception, says ring the buzzer, on the back entrance, ring the buzzer, and you'll get someone that's going to come to the door. Well, there's no buzzer, it's, it's been pulled off. Uh, <laughs> this place is awesome, the Epson motor in. We went to go for tea there last night at the Japanese restaurant, it's all displayed on their website. Amazing, looks good, the food, wicked stuff. Well, it shut down about four years ago, but they haven't taken off their website. So it looks like the people who run it don't care anymore, and this place is horrific. So we were like trying to work out where to go for food and that sort of carry on. Anyway, 10 minutes up the road, two minutes up the road, the best Japanese restaurant I've been to, I think it's called the, the Deli something or other. I'll put some video or some pictures up or something on it, but the best Japanese food me and Craig have eaten. We had uh, bacon prawns. Uh, no, nah, it was pretty good. But um, the Epson motor in this place is so run down. It's, it's, it's classic. I'll try and get some, uh, some video footage for you, but... <laughs> Luckily we've still got that complimentary uh, apple, um, those two apples and one banana, so we might chew them up for breakfast, they look pretty good. But anyway, still absolutely pumped about going to the boat show, this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, actually see a lot of people that I haven't met before, um, a lot of our suppliers uh, through the shop, and I'll probably catch up with Sam hopefully from Shimano and Alistair and maybe a few other people. Um, and go and check out the carnage that's the boat show but it looks pretty impressive so let's go there we'll have a coffee first okay guys i've got the new canon m50 this is my new vlog camera which i'm filming with here now it's got the new flip out screen which i'm not used to so that's why if i'm looking that way and that way so i would try and maybe shut the screen and go back to just looking directly at that but if i look over there that's because i'm looking at the screen but this canon camera is awesome craig's coming back you, you got cups craig did you ring the buzzer? Mate, I said I'm hung on the buzzer. <sighs> coffee, I need a coffee. Stop the bad for you. Well, me and Barty have just made it to the boat show and we're actually just checking out Innovision. To start with, uh, our mate Lukey and Nelson has just ordered one of these. 
So we're going to check out this and uh, see what we can think and maybe send him some pictures of seeding his boat dirty or something. <laughs> hey guys. So basically this is my deluxe fishing station in here. Um, you've got a big 70, 70 mil wide uh, bait on the top and then I've got this watertight sort of sealed tackle drawer on the top which you can customise and sort out how you like it. You can have lures, lure rack in there, jig rack. Um, but that's just a basic little example of how you can lay this thing out. Well, so you can put um, under big plastic storage bins in there. Um, so it's like two different storage bins from bait and then your kill tank as well. So at the end of the day you just pull them out and there's no mess in your boat. We're currently in the first uh, tent and we've just threw Marco boats and what else do we see, Barty? And now I think we're at, what are we into now? Viking kites. Uh, Viking kites. And now we are looking at FC. 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 Uh, fish city boats. Yes, one, sea boats mate. one stroke behind us is pretty impressive actually. You can see that one. Look at the rods at the top. It's pretty pro well rigged. We made a few fatal mistakes of not uh, our clothes choice for the for the trip. Uh, we thought we'd uh, go with warm gear, jeans and jackets, but that didn't pan out too well. Uh, now we're sweating and we're just looking at a Kingfisher Godfather in the background. Uh, that boat is ridiculous too. Check out this thing. We're going to have a look at it. Okay guys, this, uh, this boat is massive. Oh, it's a cat. Check out how high it is. You can't really tell, but look at the state of that thing. That is one of the deepest boats I've ever seen. But it's a cat, Kingfisher cat, and it's very impressive. But we've just completed Hall 1. Uh, now we're moving into uh, Hall, Hall 2, I think, is the next plan. <laughs> so it's all go. And then you just put it into any screen size you want. Yeah, good. Picking out where the fish are. So you know you can actually sort of touch on the fish there and see 31 meters, 40 meters, sort of drag your sort of fingers around and pan it around. We're in the uh, surty section at the moment. We've got uh, uh, Ben from Built to Fish behind us, and over here we've got the guys from uh, Fishing, Fishing and Adventure. They've got a pretty cool show on TV, and we're just in the surties section at the moment. It's pretty cool. Some uh, wicked boats here. We'll carry on checking it out, but we're in Hall Two actually, Hall Two for the day, and uh, some pretty wicked boats here. A few people from Nelson as well. But uh, check out the fishing adventure lads there. From the seat having a chat, pretty relaxed. And uh, Ben from Built the Fish right there. Thank you so far, dude. Yeah, it's pretty out there, isn't it? Now in heaven, in the Yamaha section, the Yammy, Yammy heaven. We're gonna go check them out and we'll get some good, uh, good B-roll shots of the Yamaha area because this place uh, and these motors are impressive. And to have a cousin that is a Yamaha service tech is pretty good. Let's get into Yamaha.
very good, Matt. Very good. So we're creeping around and we've uh, snuck up on this guy. <laughs> hey, Mark, how are you? Al. Good to see you, man. How are you, chat? Yeah, really good. good. Yeah. We've already seen those. Okay, that was pretty cool. Just having a chat with Ali uh, from Shimano. I've uh, been having a bit of a few dealings with him because we've been testing the new uh, we've been testing the new Shimano Chaos rods uh, in the South Island, and we've been targeting uh, snapper. And the South Island's not really known for big snapper, but we managed to get a few. Um, coming out soon too. I might actually put the video up but uh, Barty managed to get a 22, a 22.3, 23.2 pound snapper on the new Chaos Rod on the Stella 1000. So that video is very impressive and he also got a couple of others around that 20 pound mark. So we uh, will release this video and I might chuck it in now. Ooh. Look at that little 1000. That's a monstrous snapper, dude. So that mark was on the Stella 1000 with the new uh, Chaos rod. Uh, very nice. Great highlight. That was your first um, hone with the Chaos. First turn with the Chaos. And that's what <laughs> comes out. Mate. That is a big snapper, mate. It's not a bad wee snapper, is it? That is pretty good. I'm, I'm stoked, mate. So we've got uh, Alex here from Shimano. Look at the engine here, actually. Uh, catch, top catch. And he's uh, selling the. Are you actually selling them? Okay. He's selling them for the mile. Do you want to do a talk on one? Uh, weird. I can't myself. No. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk. But, anyways, Alex from Shimano. So it's good to meet all these guys because we don't actually get to see them in the South Island. Not known for a good fishery down there, so. Is that um, you on the banner? <laughs> oh, it is. Okay, we're going to show you the banner of him. It's brilliant. Get out of the way, Craig. There he is. Look at him. That's a good fish. What size fish was it, dude? Uh, just over 5 kg, I think. Oh, yeah, man. And that's got the new Chaos, and you're running a Osea jig or a Trinity? Yeah. Osea. Is that the old model? Yeah. Sweet. Might get his autograph now. He's on a poster. Actually, we should get some of them for the shop. It's a pretty good poster. All right, we'll leave him alone now because he's he's had enough of the camera and me waffling on. So, um, in uh, the hunting and fishing display stand, and we're just gonna me old mate Brycey in the background. He loves it when I do that to him on videos. It's Brycey from Akuma anyway. We'll have a going close up of him. It's not going to work, is it? Hi Bryce. G'day. Sorry to annoy you. <laughs> How are we? Yeah, good mate. Yeah, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Not bad.
today. What have we got, Craig? I have got an 85 gram, mate. As you'll see in there. Again, he was trying to hide from us, hoping he's not going to be on the video once again, but I've bailed him up. Uh, we're just checking out the new Chaos rods. If you haven't seen it, um, I was pretty privileged and lucky enough to test uh, some of the Chaos stuff before it was released this weekend. And we were testing it in the South Island and we managed to get some massive fish. I took Sam from Shimano South Island, the rep from the South Island out, and we got some absolute ginormous snapper. And uh, I only posted up day one, so day two we got even bigger fish. So I'm going to check out some of the Chaos rods right now. And they're epic, they're going to be perfect for the New Zealand market because they took all the boxes for what uh, we need in New Zealand. All the features are outstanding. So let's check them out. Steering thing in your way. How's it different? Is that back? That's oh, they've come brought back. It's still quite big though. Well, they've got a shorter deck in it. Right, guys, we are currently in a awesome 770. I've just worked it out, dude. They've got this is shorter. There's no cooker. So that's how they've done the full length bunks, no cooker. It's pretty cool in here. It's rage testing. That does, does that still come down into a bed though? Yeah. But that's the difference between... Yeah, I just do, uh, I do a bell rail, either being mounted on the top or on the side. You can call me stupid, yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay a seed, you can say I weep. You think that using her would get to me, and if you're right, then you're in trouble, D.
Must be around about three o'clock, three thirty, four o'clock. The boat show, and uh, we're almost done for the day. We've done some case to try and win the boat. And we've put the entry form in, so I've just done that, and now we're back to Shimano and look at some more Shimano gear. And maybe have a chat to Al or whoever's working on the stand. It'd be good when Sammy gets here from, but I don't know when he's going to get up here. <laughs> This is a fella. We're just talking about you, Mark, and your crazy 1000 challenge. Good, good. How's the beer tent, Mark? <laughs> oh, it looks pretty good, man. Yeah. Here he is. He's coming to talk to us. Hey, Brycey from Akuma, what's happening? Get those eyes in there, Brycey. What's happening, Mark? Had a good look around the boat show so far? Pretty good, mate. Nice. What do you what do you like so far? I'm with Sammy. And uh, we're gonna go for a beer now. It's gonna be the end of the this vlog. And it's been pretty cool at the Hutch Wilco boat show. Checking out and catching up with all these cats. The B-roll footage of our accommodation is gonna be very impressive because it's uh, the worst accommodation you could possibly go to. So hope you enjoy the B-roll of our accommodation because we had ants last night. The chair was holding up the air con outside. Oh really? Yeah, it was impressive. Rough, so, dude. Rough. So guys, uh, thanks for watching this episode of the vlog and we'll see you uh, next time. So we're kind of talking about what we're doing for the evening. Right. We go, one thing we've established is that me and Craig love the grand. We're going back to the grand, that's up the road from us. De Grand. The Grand. The De Grand. We're going to go there for tea. We're taking Brycey. De Grand. I, uh, are those bottle still going that way or what? De Grande. Japanese restaurant. <laughs> how, how, how long ago do you think that closed? Oh, it's got to be 10 years. <laughs> and it's on the website too, the luxury. I thought it was going to be legit. We'd get some sake and get some food. <laughs> oh, this is awesome.